Good morning everyone. Thanks for stopping by. Today is July 4th, 2024 and it's Independence Day. And what I'd like to do in this video is to um, get into a little bit of the history about the Declaration of Independence, how it was formulated, how it was created, uh, when certain things happened about this great holiday. So stick around. We celebrate Independence Day on July 4th. Now, that was not the day <laughs> that the uh, um, Second Continental Congress approved the Declaration of Independence. That was July 2nd. And uh, John Adams uh, actually made a, a quite a long statement about uh, July 2nd would go down in history as being one of the most important dates in American history and all that. Well, come to find out, July 4th turned out to be the day that a majority of the signers of the Declaration of Independence actually affixed their signatures to the document itself. But before that happened, the Second Continental Congress um, formed a group called the Committee of Five, and uh, Thomas Jefferson was part of that um, Committee of Five that was appointed by the Second Continental Congress, and he was charged with authoring the Declaration of Independence. So in June, and I, I've got the dates here, June 11th to 28th, he spent um, um, sequestered in a, uh, a building near Independence Hall in Philadelphia and authored the, uh, put it all down on paper, um, the Declaration of Independence. Took it back to the Second Continental Congress with input and feedback from the Committee of Five, the other four members, and uh, presented it to the Second Continental Congress. And after some debate and a few minor wording changes, they approved the uh, declaration on the 2nd of July. On the 4th of July, the delegates to the Second uh, Continental Congress began affixing their signatures to that document. So in total, there were 56 uh, signers of the Declaration of Independence. And the, the way they signed it, it was kind of interesting. If you look by state delegations, they, um, as a group, would um, sign the document within their state. And uh, so there's little boxes sort of around on the uh, bottom of the declaration where those delegates from the individual states would affix their signatures together as a group. Um, the, the largest signature was that of John Hancock, and he was the uh, um, only signer from the um, Commonwealth of Massachusetts. So there's um, a little bit of history about what, uh, um, the, what's going on with it. There's a few more things. Um, in 1870, the federal government um, determined that Independence Day should be a national holiday. So that was in 1870. So it's been around for quite some time. In 1941, Congress approved it to be a paid holiday for federal employees. So there's another kind of a milestone with that. And we all celebrate the 4th of July with picnics and uh, family get-togethers, uh, fireworks, uh, parades, all kinds of cool stuff. And I can remember as a kid in my hometown, and uh, um, it was always um, a holiday to look forward to. Uh, we'd, we'd go to the local park and uh, do the parade and... Uh, listen to the bands march, and uh, it was 
um, a memorable childhood experience, at least for me. Now, the Declaration of Independence does not start with we the people. It uh, actually has some uh, um, a, a whole different uh, preamble to it, and it goes like this. When in the course of human events it becomes necessary for one people to dissolve the political bands which have connected them with another, and to assume among the powers of the earth the separate and equal station to which the laws of nature and of nature's God entitled them. A decent respect to the opinions of mankind requires that they should declare causes which impel them to the separation. Now, um, it starts with when in the course of human events. Our Constitution, which was adopted in 1789, begins with we the people. So let's not um, try to confuse the two. I, I've seen, as I was looking for images to go along with this video, uh, I put in Declaration of Independence, and I got at least half the photos that were out there on Google uh, that said, we the people. And we the people is what uh, is the preamble to the Constitution. And it's uh, when in the course of human events is the Declaration of Independence opening statement there. So, um, I, I think the, um, the context and the body of the uh, Declaration really gets into the grievances that the colonists um, felt and had at the time. Uh, taxation without representation and all kinds of things like that. Um, that King George was truly a bully and um, Thomas Jefferson listed a number of grievances that they had that were the basis for the Declaration of Independence, the separation. And I think it, it's worthwhile to read through the entire body of the Declaration of Independence and hold it up against what's going on today in today's environment, in today's political environment, and notice the similarities in their grievances that sometimes we the people see day in and day out. Thomas Jefferson was quite a remarkable man. His command of the English language was uh, just absolutely uh, incredible. And he also made a statement in a letter to William Stephen Smith um, about the Shays Rebellion. And here's what he said. The tree of liberty must be refreshed from time to time by the blood of patriots and tyrants. Thomas Jefferson, like I said, was a brilliant uh, uh, author. He was um, quite the guy. He's got some uh, um, goofy history, um, stuff that's not all that um, good about him, uh, fathering a child with a slave, uh, things that he was a slave owner. But um, one of our founding fathers that had a, a gift, he had a talent, and he used it as the foundation for this great country. And like I said, I think it's um, well worthwhile to run down through the grievances that are listed in the Declaration of Independence and hold them up against what we're facing today in today's world. And remember that this is Independence Day, and let's keep it that way. This is the Prepared Suburbanite wishing you a happy Fourth of July. And be prepared always, and I'll see y'all on the next video.